Hi friends, it's Deanna here today, and today we're going to be working on another hack. I love hacking Ellie and Mac patterns, and I know you all are here for it, so let's get to it. Today I'm actually going to grab um, the oversized tee and I am going to add a cowl to it. I'm going to use the Going Home Raglan cowl um, to just create this cute little oversized sweater. I am actually going to slim down the cowl so this is what the cowl looks like. I'm going to slim it down to try to make it more of a um, turtleneck feel. I'm st I still want it oversized so I'm not going to make it super tight but I want it to feel a little bit sturdier so we're going to do that. I got this gorgeous cable knit fabric. I know it's kind of hard to see. Maybe you can see it if I spread it out like that. A gorgeous cable knit fabric uh, from Olga's Closet that I think will be perfect for this project. It is a little bit cooler outside so today I'm just all about sweater weather. <laughs> so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is I went ahead and cut my pattern, my my fabric out um, using the oversized tee pattern at the crew neck option, which the front is the crew neck and the back is the higher cut line. So I did that already and now I'm going to cut my cowl. So I'm going to grab my fabric and I'm going to fold it just like I'm supposed to fold it to create that cowl. But the only difference is that when I place that pattern over my fabric, I'm going to actually fold the ends of the fabric. So you're going to cut two of these on the, that's the fold right there. And because it goes this way and right here is actually you, where your neck is going to be. So once you fold this down, this will attach, the two will attach together and this is your neckline right here. So you don't want to make your neckline any smaller, but you can make this piece right here smaller because this is the piece that lays this way. If you open it up, gonna show you ha you open it up you see that it's wider here at the top this is this part right here so it's kind of like a V this is hilarious anyway it goes down this way and this is the neckline so we don't want to do mess up anything to do with that neckline we just want to fix this um, change the bottom area so it's not as wide at the top now if you wanted this to be like a of like a shoulder piece that just kind of falls over your shoulder you can ex uh, accentuate that and make it wider all kinds of things you can do and actually let me make sure that I fold my fabric correctly because I was going I was folding it the wrong way your stretch needs to be going this way because this is your neckline so your stretch goes this way so you actually fold your fabric this way so the fold is on the top not on the side usually we cut fabric a lot of times folding it on the side so always make sure that when you're cutting your pattern you look for your there is a little chart right there that gives you maximum stretch or whatever um, it tells you uh, how to cut your fabric all right so now that my fabric is nicely laid out what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold in those sides. Again, I don't want to mess with this up down here. So I'm just going to fold them to be pretty much straight. See these pieces right here, they're going straight back. So I folded those pieces back. So now my cowl is more of a straight line. So it's just going to be straight. Now, if you wanted to take it in more, you can definitely do that. You know, you can just take in a little bit more of the cowl sides, go in a little bit. So it's kind of tighter around your neck, but I don't want it super tight. So I'm just going straight up and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So then later you can make up your mind and say, you know what? I'm going to take a little bit more or you know what? I'm not going to take as much. I just went straight from, I'm going to show you again. And I like to have it on top of this black fabric so you can really see it. So up here's my fold line, here's my pattern piece. This is my cut line right here. Here is my area where my neck is, which is the smaller area. So this part right here where the neck is, you do not wanna make it any smaller. The reason why you see all these lines is because I printed different lines on this one, different sizes, but I'm going with the bigger size on the side. That's the size I'm going with, my size. So I'm folding that line straight in. So this size right here still ends at my size but the other areas, this little piece right here is getting turned in and I am gonna cut it straight. So see that, more, more of a straight cut. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my two pieces because you're supposed to cut two on the fold. It still flares out a little bit 
like I said, if you want to make it more narrow, you can go in more straight or in a little bit more. But I think this is going to be fine for me because I still want it to be a little bit oversized. I don't want it to be super tight around my neck. Not tight around my neck, but I don't want it... I still want it to be a little bit loose. Okay, so there's one. And then I'm going to cut my other one. So now that our cowl is cut up, we can go ahead and put our top together and then we'll put our cowl together. So usually when you cut out your cowl, you'll see that your cowl will go bloop, kind of like in this shape up here. It goes out and then back in. But on this one, it goes pretty straight. I think this side didn't go as straight as the other side. I'm just gonna make it more straight. I think my fold wasn't quite as straight as I thought it was. So that's fine. I just took out a little bit. I'm gonna have to take out a little bit on this one too. All right. So now you would still put that cowl together as you would per instructions, which is you're gonna sew those sides, right sides together. And I'm gonna do that. And I'm also going to go ahead and sew my top up together. This is just like prepping a neckband. So you know how on your neckband, when you make a neckband, you sew your neckbands um, right sides together at the raw edges, like usually the short raw edge. Well, on this one, the short raw edge is actually your neckline because you have all this, which will get folded in half like this and you'll get sewn onto your neck. So it'll be like standing up like this. So um, what we sew is those long raw edges together, right sides together. So I'm gonna go sew that and like I said, put together my sweater and we'll come back and attach the neck just like you would a neckband and we'll be done. And then I'll show you just how cute that looks. And the really great thing about this, I have a little stick right here. I made pumpkins um, earlier. If you have not checked out um, Nye's video on how to make fabric pumpkins, go ahead and go check that out. And I took like twigs from my um, outside, from my yard to make the little stem. And so I've got sticks still hanging around. Anyway, the great thing about this is that you can actually add this hood pattern to basically any, this hood to basically any pattern. Um, because it's been a knit fabric, it kind of blends really well. Just make sure it's a, like a crew neck um, size for your neck band. I mean, for your neck area. All right, now we basically have this sweater put together and we're going to attach the cowl now. And also the uh, cuffs. So I'm just gonna treat my neck as a regular, I treat a neckline. I just gonna go ahead and quarter it. Um, if you need help on how to put this sweater together, the um, oversized tee, we do have a full video tutorial here on our channel. You can go ahead and check that out where I go step by step on how to put that together and um, better look at how to put sleeves together, the neckband together, all that stuff. And this pattern does come with a hood and a ton of other options, but I wanted a cowl, you know. You want what you want. Then I'm gonna grab my cowl and I'm gonna turn it wrong sides together where those seams will be touching each other the raw edges and the wrong sides of the um, cowl are touching each other. So now you basically treat it as your neckband. So you can see right here, there it is. This is my neckband cowl. I'm gonna match up those two seams and go to one side and that's my front and my back because the seams will be the sides because you, want those, you don't want that seam right up the front. So I'm marking those. And then we're gonna match up the uh, cowl with the neckline right sides together. So, I mean, I guess I could have put my top inside out, but I'm just gonna fit my cowl in here. It's fine. And I'm gonna find those halves and mark them, the quarters. Uh, 
always remember because you're making the cowl if you're making a, using a directional fabric you need to make sure that you take um, into consideration that um, it's going to flip up when you actually attach it wait was that the seam that was not the seam the seam is right here and then now we're going to go over to our so our sewing machine with a stretch stitch or your uh, serger and we're going to sew that neckband on uh, well cowl on and I'm just going to stretch lightly as I sew it on and I'm also going to go ahead and do the same thing with my cuffs so we can go ahead and attach those right now and then I'll hem and we'll be done this was such a quick sew I love this pattern because it's super quick and it gives me beautiful results but if you want this same result but in a fitted version like something a little bit slimmer because this is more of an oversized fit you can use the pattern like the going home sweater uh, that would be what comes with this cowl and you can go ahead and slim down that cowl as well if you wanted to do that um, you can use the fall in love the going home is a raglan style which the sleeves kind of turn sideways the fall in love is more of a ba um, traditional style sleeve um, where you fit it just like in the top of your shoulder you could use this cowl with the discover tee then you have a color blocking a fun color blocking option at the top um, you can use this cowl with pretty much any other Ellie and Matt pattern I'm trying to think which pattern like if there if it's a boat neck you I mean you could but you have to like make the neck wider um, which you could do by measuring how big of an opening you have and then divided the uh, times in it by like 85 percent and that's how big you want to make that hole that opening so that it'll fit around it so you could do that as well if you wanted to do that um, but um, I love that this just usually fits pretty nicely into most other patterns All right, friends, we are done with this gorgeous top. It turned out way better than I even imagined. I love the oversized field. I think this is so trendy right now, the oversized um, top and like sweater. I love the cowl. It, you know, it's got, it's longer, you know, you just kind of fold it down. If you want it thinner, you can just slim those sides down even a little bit more if you want to or go in. Um, but I like I wanted it to be kind of oversized still, so that's why I kept it that way. I love it tucked in, and um, this is what it looks like untucked. But remember, the really cool thing about this pattern too is that there's also a cropped version, and I think that this would look adorable in a cropped version or banded version as well. I love how this looks, and I am pretty obsessed. So the main reason why I do these videos, all these hacks and all these tips and tricks, is because I want to show you just how easy it is to make a pattern your own. We all have different styles, and that's what's great about sewing, that you can find your style and make something that you love and just exactly how you want to make it. Um, I love how the oversized looks and everything like that, but you might not like that. So you might use other patterns, but see how easy it is to just combine them and create your own wonderful look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other hacks that you're like, I want to see what happens if you do this, comment below and let me know and I will try them. I love all different kinds of hacks and I am not scared to try them and I hope you are not either. And maybe if you are a little bit scared with my help, you can just go ahead and jump out there and do it because that's what's fun, learning and having fun and just doing different things all the time. So. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think I already said that, but I'll say it again. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Come find us on Facebook and Instagram um, so you can show off what you've sewn and all your hacks and tricks that you've done and you can share them with us and we can be inspired by them. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.